What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about this little fella right here, Jawa. We all know him, we all love him, we all like him. And you all probably know that at one time he came with a vinyl cape, like the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure or the Darth Vader. But something always intrigued me about this figure. Even as a kid, when I took his cloak off, I would often take off capes and cloaks time I got it so I could see what was underneath. And this is what we got underneath. Maybe you can see it a little better. Look at all that detail work. The bandolier straps and everything. To be hidden over a cloak didn't make much sense to me. But that's when I discovered that they first were going to put the vinyl cape on a Jawa. Still, something didn't seem right. Bandolier straps just looks so detailed. Why was they put a vinyl cape on this little guy? And did you know this was going to be released like this? No cloth cape at all. Well, no cloth coat. Coat. No cloth. No cloth. What is this? Cloak. And no vinyl cape. Sorry, I don't have a vinyl cape jaw to show you. I know. You want to give me one? I'm not paying a couple of thousand dollars just for a vinyl cape. But, did you know it was going to be released like this? This was the original plan? And how do we know this? Well, thanks to a guy that bought what he thought was just junk off eBay, came a box with blueprints. Now, I'm not going to do a whole video about that, but it's probably a good story, and maybe I'll do a video about that one day. But, in those blueprints was what Kenner called a change form. This was a form sent around Kenner to the designers of what needed to be changed before the release of the figure. And we see there that not only did they add the vinyl cape, the original plan was no cape at all. As you can see for this change notice, dated November 14th, 1977. The reason for the change? From no cape, no cape, to a cape as seen in the drawing. And it would be colored brown. Some of the notes on the form said it must match the artwork furnished by the Kenner Design Department and it must comply with Kenner's safety rules. So as you can see, the change notice said add a cape. But that's not the only information we have to show that it was originally planned with no cape at all. Here's the original blueprint of the Jawa figure. As you can see here, it looks like it has no cape at all. No vinyl cape, no cloak. Just the figure with the bandolier straps. And there's more clues that this was never going to have a cape at all. Let's go look at the back of the original 12-back card. If you notice on the back of the card, one of the features they list for all the figures that come with the cape is that it has a nice cape. Although it's probably hard to tell in this picture, every figure that has a cape mentioned that it does have a cape. What about Jawa? There's no mention at all about a cape, a cloak, or anything. And believe it or not, we actually have one more clue. Remember the early bird package? Well, let's zoom in on that. If you look at it, Look at the Jawa's crotch. I know that sounds disgusting, but listen, just bear with me. Look at his crotch. The artist drew a little design of where the figure would bend. At least something you wouldn't notice if it was going to have a cloth coat. But why was it changed? Why not just release it like this as planned? Well, let's go back to that change notice. It actually has a little column, reason for change. And that says, marketing edition. Well, what could that mean? Well, it seems likely that they thought they couldn't charge normal price for this figure. I mean, he came with his gun, but he really didn't come with anything extra to warrant the extra cost. A parent walking into a store and saw a $2 Obi-Wan Kenobi and a $2 Jawa, they're going to think they get ripped off just buying this one. It would have been nice if they had it with two Jawas, but can not understand they needed to make it look more appealing. So they went with a vinyl cape. And that's what they did. Why did they change the cloth cape or cloak? Well, we have no actual paperwork, no change notice for it. None's been found yet. But it's probably more appealing. This looks like you get more for your money's worth than this, even if it had a vinyl cape. And that's a look at the Jawa without a cape. I know, it's kind of an odd video and short video. But I wasn't sure how many of people out there that knew this. And I always thought, even as a kid, it was odd that my vinyl cape Jawa, vinyl cape Jawa, that my cloth cape Jawa 
cloth coat job. Cloth, try that again. I always thought it was odd as a kid that my cloth cloak Jawa was so detailed under his cloak. I just thought Kenner wanted us to take the clothes off of it. But we know thanks to a deal on eBay. Now, why the Jawa was so detailed under that cloth cloak. Got it right the first try. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please thumb up so I know you did. Subscribe to the channel and We'll be back again very soon. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>